Hi, welcome to this lesson on bamboo. This lesson I usually do with my grade 4 students and we're focusing on two things. We're focusing on value, so light and dark, and we're focusing on different types of lines during this unit. So this particular lesson we're going to look at just straight lines and a zigzag line, so it incorporates two different line types. Um, very simple lesson. Uh, but the results actually, can, simplicity can be very beautiful, so the bamboo often is very beautiful looking. So I'm going to take you through the technique that I show my students. We simply need uh, black paint and two different size brushes. I like a little bit of a thicker brush and then a thin brush for the zigzag lines. All right. I tell my students when they're putting their paint on their brush just to get a little bit of paint on it not too much. Sometimes grade four students will have a glob of paint. Too much. We just want to touch it off the edge. Okay. Technique that we use when we're doing this is a pulling technique up the page as opposed to a normal paintbrush technique. So I do a pulling with my brush. And this is how we do it. We're going to start off the bottom of our page and we're going to push first. And I often tell my students, I just give my brush just a little wiggle, wiggle, and then I'm going to pull up the page, and then I'm going to push again, wiggle, wiggle, and lift it up. That gives me the different value for my bamboo. Usually I tell the students to do it about the size of my finger for each piece of the bamboo, because we know there's a little joint. Now I'm going to leave my finger mark, that's what I tell my students, my pinky finger, and I'm going to do the next piece of bamboo, wiggle, wiggle, pull, wiggle, wiggle. I haven't added more paint yet. I will if I feel I need to. I just flip my brush over, pull. Now I think I'm going to add some more paint to my brush at this point. And I'm just going to have it go off the page. I start at the bottom of the page, wiggle, wiggle, and I go off the page. So we're working with straight lines creating our bamboo. I'm going to do two pieces of bamboo. And often I tell my students at the beginning of this lesson, we talk about what the bamboo represents. One piece of bamboo represents good life. Two pieces represents love, which is nice. I'm going to do love. Three pieces represents health, wealth, and happiness. And this is in the Chinese culture. And four pieces, we are not going to do four pieces on our good copy because we tell them out of respect for the Chinese culture, four is very unlucky number. So we're not going to do four pieces of bamboo for our good copy. And then five pieces are the five areas of life, health, cognitive, spiritual. I'm going to move on now and I'm going to grab my smaller paintbrush. And I put a little bit of paint on there. Now we're going to simply go into these joints and we're going to do a zigzag. The letter Z, we're going to do that. Cognitive, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. I think I got the five. All right. And I'm going to do a little zigzag in each one. And that gives me my bamboo joints. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do just a few pieces of leaves and branches coming up. I tell my students branches grow up to the sun, they don't grow down. Sometimes students want to put the branches growing down, they grow up. There's all kinds of different bamboo types. The one I'm going to do, the leaves drop down. So I'm going to push and just give it a little flick. Push, give it a little flick. Usually I put about three pieces, three little leaves together. Push and flick it at the end of the branch. There we go. All right. And as simple as that, the bamboo is done. So my students often will take their sketchbook and I'll have them practice it in their sketchbook first. It's surprising how it takes a little bit of time for them to practice and then they move on to their good copy. All right. Have fun with that. The focus is value and lines. Monochromatic art.